Alright, so I decided to go ahead and make a GUI interface for this. So you can see here I'm pressing the triggers and it's got a little bar with markings on it that I can actually change however I want to. We've got right shoulder, left shoulder, back, start, and then the whole X, Y, A, B, left, right, up. And you can see I can press multiple things at the same time and still actually there's no blocking problems or any issues like that. Uh, I'm going to make one that shows the, the joystick at some point in time, um, but it, you can see down at the command prompt that we're still getting a joystick output and button presses, which is broken on my F7 right now. So, yeah, um, just shows the use that you can make with this library. Pretty much just made this straight from uh, this class that I created called Cont Controller GUI. And it has all these implementations for graphics and stuff. Basically, it's just grabbing this here gamepad state. And it catches it from a slot. So Qt sends out its signal based off of this uh, game server's... The signal it sends out says state update. So we connect that those two together. Which is shown here. You get connect, gamepad instance, state update. That's the signal getting sent out from the server, and you catch it at the controller state. That's literally just updating the internal uh, gamepad state that I'm keeping track of, and the rest of the GUI just does the rest of the updating through a timer. And that's all that. That's all you need for Qt. That's why I'm trying to implement the server for Qt, so I can do more stuff with Qt because that Qt has a whole uh, signals and slots thing implemented to make things easier. All right, thanks for watching.